welcome back to a Fippa Jack Gaming, where today we're opening up a random pack. So, let's see what we're cracking. Mystery Booster Convention Edition. It's going to be something that you would normally just find over at the conventions. They released it, found it at our local LGS, picked up a pack, and now we're going to share what we open out of the pack. It has some famous test cards that ended up making this pack look a little bit crazy on the end. So let's see what we end up getting. These packs go a wide range of everything. It's all craziness. It's not one certain set. It jumps everywhere. So we got Righteous Cause. The cost is two white and three. It's an enchantment. Whenever a creature attacks, we gain one life. Avon Sentry costs three and a white for a bird soldier. Flying and it's a 3 2 body. Murder of the Crows costs two blue and three. It's a bird and flying, and whenever another creature dies, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. It has a 4 4 body. Fog Bank costs one and a blue. For a wall that has Defender, Flying, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to and by the Fog Bank. Has a 0-2 body. Cabal Therapy costs 1 black and has a Sorcery. Name a 9 land card. Target player reveals his or her hand and discards all cards with that name. Has a flashback of Sacrifice a Creature. And the flashback cost will end up making it so you can end up playing it, but then you exile it. Ghostly Changeling costs two and a black for a shapeshifter. It's a changeling, so that means it has all the different types. Costs one and a black, and ghostly can end up getting a plus one, plus one until end of turn. It's a two, two body. Ill Tipper Cyclops costs three. And a red for a Cyclops who has Trample. We can pay five and a red and give it Monstrosity three. If this creature isn't Monstrositous, we get to put three plus one plus one counters on it and it becomes Monstrosity and has a three three body. Young Pyromatcher or Young Pleasy costs one and a red for a human shaman. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a one one red elemental creature token. It has a 2-1 body to it. Hooten Mandrills costs 5 and a green. It has Delve. That means we can end up exiling a card from our graveyard while casting it, and it will pay for one colorless of that thing. Can't pay for the green, but we can end up making it cost one green. It has Trample, and it's a 4-4 body. Dagger back ballast costs two and a green. Well, a uh, blaskets has death touch and has a two-two body. Morrison Geist costs two, a red and a blue, for a spirit flying. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, it gets plus three plus zero until end of turn. It's a one-three body. Farmstein Cleaner costs three for a scarecrow. It's actually three colorless specifically. That means we could pay whatever color into it. Or just three colorless. Whatever kind of deck you end up having it in. It doesn't untap during your untap step. We could pay two to untap it, put a plus one plus one counter on it. It is a two two body. Mana Morphos that costs us one or a red or a green. It's an instant add two mana of any combination of colors to your mana pool. Draw a card. A famous storm deck. Two headed giant costs two red and two for a giant warrior. Whenever two headed giant attacks, flip a coin or flip two coins. If both coins come up heads up, two headed giant gains double strike until end of turn. If both coins come up tails, 
it gains menace until end of turn. It's a 4-4 body. And then our experimental mineral soul card is Kristen Crave Witch. Costs 3 and a black. It's a human warlock. Whenever a card name enters the battlefield, create 2 1 1 insect or black insect creature tokens. Whenever a card name attacks, you may sacrifice an insect. When you do, curse the defending player. Create a black curse enchantment token that attaches to that player. It's a chant player at the beginning of your upkeep. They lose one life. That's a 2-3 body. This is a test card. So right now, it's not illegal in anything. Unless you're obviously your table group or your play group lets you end up playing something like that. What do you think of the pack? Let us know down in the comments below. If you're liking the content that we're putting out, like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified about any of our future content. If we were drafting this pack, I'll either draft Young Peasy or Cabal Therapy. Either one of them would have been pretty solid to be able to do it. Um, Cabal Therapy, probably I wouldn't do it because there's so many different cards in there. But Young Peasy can end up getting set up. And who knows, maybe we'll get the Manamorphos to be able to to make that in to be able to make that um a little elemental till next time we'll see you later